news first with breaking news. Welcome to Niger State, North Central Nigeria. Ramp 2 activities have ended precisely on the 31st of December 2020. That signifies the project closure of ramp in Niger State. Now that we have completed this project, Niger State has also taken over the sustainability burden of our maintenance activities. The state government will continue to sustain the activities of community-based road maintenance of ramp by the constant payment of over 600 uh, people engaged to providing road maintenance uh, activities. So this, the state government believe that if sustained, it will make our road last longer. The impact made by the second rural access and mobility project in Niger State between November 2013 and December 2020 has set a precedent that if built upon will completely transform rural communities in Niger State. This is exactly what Governor Abubakar Sani Bello of Niger State is doing to bring about the desired growth and development of rural communities across the state. This phase is for the construction, rehabilitation of rural roads in the state to ease mobility, connect and open up the rural areas for social and economic development. moving equipment have continued to be at work in parts of Niger State as a result of Governor Abubakar Bello's burning passion for rural development. As part of deliberate effort to improve the lot of rural communities, Governor Abubakar Sani Bello-led administration approved the release of funds for the spot improvement of some rural roads with box culverts as well as the construction of a number of river crossings in some parts of the state to boost national policy and food security in the country. The money has been released and work has commenced in parts of the state. I want to inform you that the government of Niger State, under the leadership of a, a large Dr. Abu Kassani Bello, is making deliberate effort to further open up the rural areas. This further boosted the social economic activities in the benefiting rural communities. The administration is working out modalities for surface dressing of these roads due to traffic build of the roads so as to increase their lifespan. The state government effort is aimed at addressing the challenge of road infrastructure and consequently improving on the transport conditions in the state. Infrastructure 
It requires a lot of capital, but so far we have done some projects, hit own some projects, uh, we went with one bank ramp. We have done over 450 kilometers of railroads. Critically, I think access road is very important. Once you do that, you have opened up the place, and then you, that will enable you to do a variety of other things, you know, including, in fact, monitoring and helping the farmers to be better farmers, if you like, and so on and so forth, yes. So it's an all-encompassing thing, but you need the road first. Some rural communities in Bako local government area of Niger State are also benefiting as Governor Abubakar Sanibelu has embarked on construction of box culverts, earthworks, and stone pitching along Emigamazi Bridge Road in the area. A number of projects are ongoing along Badagieba Katairigi Road in Kacha local government area. We have talked about the bridge along Badegi Road from Kacha from uh, Katairigi to Badegi. There's an existing bridge that has failed integrity test conducted by our team of engineers. That the Niger State government is also replacing with the construction of modern three-span, 45-meter uh, three-span bridge. So by the time the bridge is completed, there will be more traffic on the road, and it will also it will further enhance the economic activities along uh, that corridor. For the people living along Kacha, living in Kacha, Aige, Lapai, Traveling from Mina will not to their communities uh, will not be a nightmare. They may not even need to go through Bida. They will only assess their community within some minutes uh, from Kateriji. The representatives of the benefiting communities are appreciative of the state government effort, which they said is making a positive impact on their lives. We thank God for the government that is support us in this road, that help us doing in this bridge. Because since the, our far forefather, there has been suffering to following this road. They are the ones that pray for us that the God will bring the government that come and support us within this bridge. And since this work has been started, we are very, very happy for the government. Our community has a lot of problems that with our agricultural products we do not go to the market due to inability of road access. But we now we thank God Almighty and the government of Niger State that by now we have a fresh new bridge in Eba community. Uh, we are enjoying, sir. And then when we will enter this road from the federal road to come here, we pass their bike, we are enjoying where we are, sir. Uh, by the time when the road, we get a uh, gallop, gallop. When we carry the woman with pigments, go to the hospital. Now, when we carry any goods, go to the matches, we enter the motor, we go free. No, I like again. Honestly, this road have mm -hmm. helped this community a lot. Before, if we want to get to the main road, you will spend like one hour, two hours, but now at least uh, you cannot even spend more than five minutes to reach main road. Honestly, we, are, we are really appreciate because I'm a driver. We know the kind of sofa we suffer in the past, but now we can drive safely. In three years ago, 
or I can say in two years ago. We were suffering for this road. Even to carry our load to the market is hard because the road was poor, totally poor. But as of 2020 to this 2021, we are very, very happy. The project include an emergency construction of box culverts along Doko Sarati Road in Lavon local government area of the state. Danchita Danko Partition Road, also in Lavon local government area of the state, was not left out, as the state government is carrying out spot improvement on the rural road. We're also constructing a 3x3 box culvert in between Doko to Mambi. The Partition Road, uh, in Doko local in uh, uh, Donko Partition Road, level local government, the area is agrarian area, and uh, the people there mostly are into rice farming. And before now, they find it very difficult to also bring their farm produce, their rice, invested rice, to the market to Doko or Bida market. But now, I think it's a thing of the past. They will find it very difficult to assess Bida or Doko market within some few minutes. So that will also add value to whatever uh, they are doing. And also better than that, they have also have now access to primary and secondary health care facilities because there's improved access. So this is a deliberate effort of the Niger State government. This timely intervention in the state further demonstrates our total commitment to change the negative economic indices considering the high level of deterioration of roads infrastructures across the state. This has led to increased transport cost, loss of valuable time and resources, ultimately resulting in lower productivity of our farmers. We also took up the state project coordinator of Ramp 2 on what prompted the state government into upgrading these selected rural roads. We will look at the agricultural value chain along the corridor of the roads. The state government is also carrying out spot improvement on Beji Makera Road with culverts in Boso local government area of the state. The New York State government, in its deliberate effort to further open up the right areas, directed that work should commence on the 17 kilometer Beji to Makera Road. And uh, we have since commenced work there. Construction of Kampala Baiko Road with culverts, also in Boso local government area of the state, was not left out. Directors have also been given to open up Kampala from uh, Baiko to Kampala Road. And that work is also ongoing. We never expected that something like this would come to us. We're grateful to God for making this project visible and possible. And also we are thanking even the initiator, those that brought this work for us, because already we have moved a step forward. The entire village, we are overwhelmed, we are happy, we are grateful, because the government has done to us what we needed long ago. When you look at the village, you find out that already there will be in, people will troop into the village and there will be expansion, business will boom, everything will boom. And this will lead to a lot of villages inside. I, as a Mayangua of Kampala, we appreciate both because of this job that come to our area. Uh, we give glory to God. And we thank government for approving this road for us. During rainy season, I think let's say from August, to, to November, we actually feel bad because there was no road linking to this village at all. When this road came, it was only just like paradise has come to this village because actually even the contractor, they can testify. Sometimes man, we even say, if this road is completed, we'll put bounds. If not so, speed will be too much. So you like this project so much because of if you get women, when you get pregnant, you are suffering so much because if you carry woman before you go beji, that woman she de suffering so much. But it's now you're happy so much. 
because about this project. When you look at uh, the Kampala, Kamp uh, from Baiko to uh, Kampala, predominantly they are young farmers. So before intervention, they find it very difficult to move their farm produce from their communities to the market, to Mekuncheli, or even a, a, a Beji market or Mina market. But now that the United States government has intervened, it will be very easy for farmers to evacuate their farm produce from their communities to the market. So that will also, they will also have access to modern farming implement, and it will also account for increase in their farm size and increase even their productivity as far as their farm produce is concerned. Significant impact on the lives of rural dwellers has equally been recorded, especially people residing along Gurusu Junction to Shakwata in Shiroro local government area of the state. Residents of the benefiting communities are full of appreciation to Governor Abubakar Sanibelu as the rural road project has opened them up to urban centers, thereby boosting their economic activities. The road from Guru to Shakwata is also ongoing because uh, that the poor Shakwata have, have since been neglected because they have been cut off. Now the state government has opened up that area by the construction of a road from Gurusu to link Shakoto. We are happy with this road because before now, we have been going through a lot of hardship on the road. Before getting to the major road, even vehicles using the road always find it difficult. But now, we appreciate the governor for his effort on the road. Serious at past, the road was very bad. But we thank God, with this government, with the assist they do, at least the road now is good. In the past, we suffer a lot when we want to go to the hospital and other places. But now with this road, we move easily to wherever we want to. We appreciate the government for this road. In the past, we were the Wahala for this road because the road is no good. So they help us now, they repair the road. The roads they help us. We they thank God for people who are bring this road, where they repair this road for us. If not, we say they bring, we they repair this road for us, we they suffer. Past how many days, how many years we they suffer about this road? We they thank God, people, people where they help us to repair this road, because this road is no good before. If you enter machine, they go mm, market. Before we reach market, we they suffer. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello led administration in Niger State is not relenting on the successful completion of its six billion naira rural road transformation project aimed at bringing sustained access to the rural populace through surface dressing of selected roads rehabilitated by Ramp 2 across the three geopolitical zones of the state. But Niger State government has gone further outside the contract financing agreement because of the passion of the state governor to improve the life of the rural dwellers, they have gone further to surface dress this road. So this is ongoing. Like the surface dressing of Weha Canteen to Echutasha, that has been completed. We have also completed the, surf, the surface dress of 36 kilometer uh, Weha Suman to Lemu Road, that, uh, that has been completed. And uh, the 88 kilometer uh, company Bobi to Banji Road, the surface dressing is still ongoing. The 21 kilometer surface dressing of uh, Farin Doki to Old Gao is also ongoing, and uh, the 21 kilometer Izom uh, Abu Chipadama to Seleja that is also ongoing. So, uh, hopefully, the governor will be commissioning some of these uh, routes uh, across the state. I think um, uh, we have done very well across the three uh, zones of the state. Uh, aside from even the artwork uh, that we have done, uh, about a reasonable percentage of the road had now been, uh, been uh, covered by, or rather protected um, with a two-faced coat surface dress, apart from the artwork.
open up rural roads to urban. Yeah. Uh, one of the most precious dividends of democracy we have today is rural roads. Because most of our rural dwellers are farmers. And aside from opening these roads to them to ease some of the difficulties faced, one, in going to the farms, two, in bringing up the products after harvest to uh, aggregation centers or to our markets. Important for me to mention here that major state government has been considered by our developers to key into the next phase of ramp. This is because the government has been living up to expectation of prompt payment of counterpart funding. We have exceeded the target. The government has paid over six billion naira as counterpart funding to our developed partners. This has been acknowledged by both the World Bank and French Development Agencies. And that is why the state government was automatically key into the next phase of ramp, which we intend to use to consolidate on our achievement and also open up some agricultural ops across the state. I think the government is doing a very good job in providing rural roads in virtually all parts of the state. That is definitely commendable. It will facilitate movement of people from one point to the other. But I think there's a lot more we can look forward to achieving. Because if you target the rural farming community, then you have helped them to be able to get access to extension service which I'm sure we can, ex which we can easily arrange. The Ministry of Agriculture, some of the universities and so on, they can provide that service to the rural communities. Uh, while they remain in the rural communities because of the access road that has been provided, that is supposed to translate into increased productivity. Even the farm implements, like uh, fertilizer, like chemicals and so on, with these rural roads now, it should be possible to move this into the rural community. To and to prevent the farmers from coming to town to look for all this. These are ways and strategies of increasing productivity. So maybe for part of expanding this rural road program is maybe to target specifically these farming, large farming communities. So that as the connectivity improves, you know, then the productivity by implication of the farmers will increase. Because A, you have allowed this movement of the farmers themselves from, between one, from one community to the other. Then you have allowed movement of the extension service and all the farm implements they require to be taken to them. I think this is the next, in my view, level of strategy that the government has to pursue to be able to increase the productivity of the rural communities. Clearly it's a wonderful development and I think the key is just to try and uh, expand it, make it much more strategic so that we can achieve a lot more in terms of the benefit it, which will convert to the rural communities. Niger State Government intends to evolve more strategies towards rejuvenating the state economy to accommodate contemporary realities of time with a view to transforming the rural communities to urban centers. This can be achieved with your continued support.
ABC News first with breaking news. We cover the big political stories in Nigeria. What people want more than just politics. Business news, sports naturally, but you need news to live by also. Stories about education, health, personal finance, and hey, even lifestyle news. Newspaper reviews, travel news, and much more. Nigeria, it's more than just politics. It's live. Start your day with us every weekday. TVC News Breakfast. First, fast, balanced, and accurate. TVC News. First, with breaking news. Before, before they go see my sister. The road, you make more click, more click, more click, more click. But now, I can't love the road if I can't see my sister. Oh, God, I may God bless her. I may God give her more wisdom. Governor Ifan Yokoa is very kind, he's very caring, he's so good, especially to the students and to the children. He's concerned about us, that is why he made this facility for us. Before this program, I've been owing debts of about one point something million. But through this shop I've opened, I was able to pay that debt. The governor is a lifter of life. In the month of July, on the 6th, it's 54 years after the first shot that signaled the beginning of the Nigerian Civil War was fired. The war ended nearly three years after. The now affirmed winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election, M.K. Wabiola, died on the 7th of July, 1998. 23 years after, his memory still lingers. On the 11th, global attention focuses on the ever-increasing population in contest for world supremacy. The first atomic bomb was set off on the 16th of July, 1945. We ponder on whether that has been resolved. 18th is Nelson Mandela International Day. Nigeria fought and defeated Ebola, which came into the country in 2014. On the 20th of July. On the 28th, World Hepatitis Day receives focus. On the 29th of July, 1966, a counter-military coup took place. And on the 30th, human trafficking takes center stage as the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons is marked. Stay with TVC News. At TVC News, wherever the people...